Hey YouTube, it's time for the next video. It's gonna be Rennington versus Clit today because somebody asked me for that a specific one on YouTube in the comments a few days ago. Remember guys, if you guys want me to do a specific matchup, just write in the comments and I will get to it. Like I'm gonna try and mainly take the comments from YouTube and use those as the decision of which matchups I'm gonna take next. So if you wanna choose what matchup you need, like let's say you're having tr struggles with whatever matchup, like Rennington versus Trinomir, just write down the matchups and I'll get to them as fast as possible. So now let's get into it. Rennington versus Clet is an interesting one. You can start with press attack, you're gonna have triumph, alacrity or tenacity. In this game I have alacrity due to the fact that they don't have that much CC on the enemy team. And then I'm going last stand. You can also go Coup de Grace, it doesn't matter. Coup de Grace or last stand, both are good in this case. Then in the second tree, often I go for Domination and Rennington, but against the Clet, I do think it's very crucial that you go Resolve. You need to have Chrysalis and Bone Plating because you're going to have a lot of all-ins for him. You're going to have a lot of fights where you need that Bone Plating to soak up the damage and you need that extra health level 1 just to make sure you can beat him. Now let's get into it. So... Clet's an interesting one. I like Clet. He's fun. Now, let's find the game. It's over here. There we go. So, level one, you can't really cheese a Clet as Rennington. He will probably beat your ass. You don't necessarily want to do that. Um, I guess you could stay here, cue him, burn off his bone plating, but he's just going to do the same thing. So, it doesn't actually do anything for you. Now, I'm just going to go to my lane. I want to have the push. <clears throat> I'm running Ignite with a flash. He does not. He's running teleport. I want to have the push and I want to fight him. Now, here's one thing. I think against Clet Ignite is absolutely amazing. Because once you get him down to his passive, like when he jumps off the mount, you can actually kill him. You have kill pressure on him due to the Ignite. Um, the main thing you need to do is make sure he never got W up, right? Like most Clet people, they don't die, then you fight them off the mount, they just barely get the mount up. But if you Ignite them, they will most likely just die. So I'm finding him here, that's fine. Level 1 is okay, nothing special about that. Nothing's really going on. I'm going to just lower the sound a little bit here, there we go. So... One thing, the main object for you playing against a Clad is to dodge his abilities. I'm doing a level 2 pass, but I'm just engaging him here. But the main thing for you to do is to dodge his Q. His Q goes on a straight line, it's super strong. You want to try and dodge it. If you can dodge his Q consistently, you're always going to win the matchup. Um, one good way to do this is a lot of people don't think about this, but then you're creeping. You imagine you're CSing. This is talking about how to skill set as well. I'm going to go into that a little bit. So let's say you want to get this creep as an example, right? If you're walking around like this, kind of you know like back and forth back and forth in a random manner him queuing you it's going to be much more difficult right now let's just remove that now let's say you do this how do i make this small it's really big let's say you do this instead you sit you're sitting up here you're like oh i'm scared i'm, I'm sitting up here chilling you know and then he's sitting r around here let's get another color of him he can be blue he's sitting around here you know now here's the problem when you want to go get the cs you're going to be walking like this let's just say you walk like this you know to get the CS and you're gonna hit it at the last point. For Clet to hit you with a, a skill shot, it's very easy, you just BAM, hit you. It's never gonna miss. It's never gonna miss. It's gonna hit 100% of the time. So instead, what you wanna do is you wanna stand up more aggressive and you wanna stand close to the enemy minion that you're doing. And you just walk around it like in circles, like maybe like down here, you know, like up, and then just around, you know? Because then the second you want to, you can just last hit it. And also another thing you need to do sometimes is fake last hit. Like, Last it a little early, like hit it, then stop it, move, and then hit it again, right? Or act like you're moving up to last hit it. For example, let's say you're standing here and you, you're actually in a bad position where you're standing here. You have to get the last hit. Try and do something like this where you do like, he's going to think you're walking a straight line to get the last hit. And then you curve and then you go last hit it, right? Because then imagine he's standing over here and he's, he's ready to last hit. He's like saying, oh, he's ready to last hit. Then you're here. He's just firing out the queue. You curve, bam, you get the last hit still. You have to kind of think of it like that. But anyways, let's get let's get back into the game. So, level 2 pass back. I'm hitting him down. At this point, I'm not really looking to kill him. I'm just looking to keep him close to low health. Uh, I don't want to uh, dismount him. I want to keep him low. Because at this point, if a game comes, he's dead. He knows that. He's like, oh shit. And he, he wants to get dismounted so you can just get back up, right? That's what he wants. So, I'm, I'm just going to chill here. I'm not really necessarily going to dismount him yet. So, you see, I could easily go dismount him right now. But I'm not gaining anything from it. Hitting him right now would actually be detrimental to me because I cannot kill him. I'm trying to get my little free and then maybe I'm going to all-in him, right? Like once I'm a little free, I have this done. I have a lot more damage. I have potential to all-in him. So now I don't mind getting him off the mount and I'll probably try to do that as well. So you will be able to see soon. As you can see, I don't mind finding him. I'm just using my abilities, getting him off. And now I need to be careful, right? Because 
Here's a very important moment. He just got off mount. I don't have kill pressure yet, which means I don't want to fight him at all because he's just going to get rage back up. So the goal for you is to try, look at this. this is, let's say this is range. I don't know the exact range right now, but let's say his range is, why do I make this work like that? His range of his Q is like, let's just say like this, right? Let's just say that's his Q range, something like that. Your goal is to stand like right, oh, that's a yellow one, but that doesn't matter, I'll just make blue. Your goal is to stand around right here and just move back and forth right outside the range of his Q, because that way, if he waste the Q, like let's say you make him, you bait it, he waste the Q, then you can start trying to kill him, then you can start trying to do stuff, especially if his W is down. All right, let's get into it. So I'm just going to chill up here. I don't need to fight him. I'm standing a little too defensive, actually. Should be a little closer trying to bait out the Q as I talked about. Um, I know that Noxion is bot side, 100%. And I know Kha'Zix is top side. So I'm also looking to... Wait, let's just go back a second. Before we do this all in. So I know the jungler is top side. I know the enemy jungler should be bot side somewhere. Could be in my jungle. Their jungle doesn't matter. So the things I can do right now is, first of all, I can get 50 raids, try and all in him. Because even if it fails... Kha'Zix is close by, right? This guy's never going to base. It's going to take him 8 seconds to click recall. This guy will be able to walk up and kill him after doing the walls. I know that. So, all I'm doing right now is getting my rage. I can try and push. But if I push, then he's maybe get more rage. Or more of the bar. And he might get his mount back up, which I don't want. So, I'm going to all in him the second I get my rage to 50. As you can see here, I'm looking for it. I flash W... If I had domination, he was dead, but I can't do that. Because then you can bug abuse it. But anyways, I flash stun him. E in, Q, and then order, and then he's dead. But the problem is, I can't get my order through because he flashes. If he hadn't flashed there, he was dead 100%. Because I could auto E. Like, even if my order doesn't kill him, my E would. I think my order would as well, but it doesn't matter. However, here's the thing. I know my jungler is topside, and I know he can't catch me. So even if this fails, my jungler is still ready to just come back up top. And this guy can't get his mount back up because it's impossible for him right now. And bam, he's dead, right? It's, it's that simple. Even if my kill doesn't work, I still have a backup plan. And those kind of things you got to try and aim for, right? If my jungler hadn't been topside and I didn't know where the enemy jungler is, I would never make this play. Because imagine I flash on him, he flashes away, enemy jungler comes up, I'm dead. At this point, I'm screwed, you know? I'll be fucked. Now, okay, if you're basing... So let's talk about items. It's important. So you have two options. You can go for Tiamat or Ninja Tabbies. I'm against a Nocturne Clet, Ninja Tab is amazing. But Tiamat kills him, potentially. And if you get Tiamat and he doesn't have Ninja Tabbies, like let's say he's buying Tiamat as well or something, right? And you're running Ignite Rennington, you can kill him every single time after 6. Because you're going to be around 6 at that point anyways. You can kill him every single time you dismount him and he does not have bone plating. Just by getting onto him and all in him. Anyways, at this point, I don't have flash. He doesn't have flash. You want to be the one freezing at this point, right? Like, let's talk about wave manipulation because most people don't do that. And this matchup is very important for that. You want to keep the wave around your tower. Always close to you. You don't want it to be close to him. You don't want him to have the control because... Imagine this. Nocturne tries to kill me up here. Very difficult. He needs to dive me. Now, around here, clean out the wave a little bit is better. There's too many minions. Um, however, imagine down here. Clear. Ease in. He can eat twice. He got his Q. I can't really escape that. If he hits me with the Q, I'm dead 100% of the time. Nocturne comes in from behind of this side. He fears me. He slows me with a red buff, potentially. Um, there's just no way I can ever survive without a flash. It's impossible. So, I want to keep the wave around me. Or do a slow push into his tower. I'm just getting some water. At this point, I don't want to fight him. Because there's too many minions. And I'll just fuck up my creeps. So, I'm just, I'm just farming. Nothing else. Just straight up just farm. I'm hitting it down. This is one thing um, you can do. I'm hitting down the creeps because I have rates in my Q. And I know exactly if I just hit them down. Q, E, E. Then I'll get all the creeps, right? Because also I was looking to lose some of them. Alright, so we farmed. This is good so far. And at this point, I still just I just want to get a ward. Play safe. Let him push to me all the time. Because I talked about how easy it is to kill me. It's the same for him. It's super easy to kill him. If he's running away, he can only jump once. Kha'Zix is very good at running from behind with a red buff. And Renix is pretty good at catching as well, so there's a high kill chance on him too. Now let's see what happens here. I still have no idea where anything is. As you can see, there's one minion left. And if I end up in a pushing situation, which this is looking to be, I don't want to push right now because then I'd end up here. So I'm waiting for the minion to slowly die to my minions so that I'm going to end up with the next wave around the middle again. As you can see, now I'm in the middle again, which is pretty decent. 
and I'm not, I'm not really pushing to crazy anything because it's still just in the middle. It's frozen ish. I don't need to go crazy in this. I'm just farming. And I could go crazy in the next wave. I'm almost going to be six. He knows that because he's almost going to be six too. But I'm pushing slightly more than him so I can just do whatever I want. Nocturne comes up. And this is what I talked about, right? There's a high chance Nocturne comes up and I can't escape this. The only reason I go in here is because I'm leveling up to six. Be me being level six, knowing Kazakhs is top side, even if these two goes on me, I can most likely one v two of them. And even if I can't, I should be fine. I am super strong at this point because I'm level six. And as you can see, I'm just finding an auction. I'm not even activated on ultimate, just chilling. And they gotta run because they're not strong enough to deal with me. And if they fought me there, we'd get a double kill. So level six pass pack is extremely strong. You want to look out for it. And then at this point, I'm gonna have ignite soon. So I should be able to just kill this guy. I should be able to literally just kill Clip. Um, 1v1. At this point, with my Ignite. I need to wait for the Ignite, obviously. I can maybe get a gank coming in as well. Which means it's a very easy kill too. Because TV1, there's no way this guy survives, right? We just walk up. I'm not going to use my Ignite. Even if I had it, I just kill him. Walk out. I waste my ultimate, I guess. But yeah, I shouldn't have done that. However, I get to push in. And this is one thing that's important as well. Clip. Just died. Which means it's going to take him the 4 seconds of death timer. And then it's going to take him 27 seconds to get back. And then maybe he got some jumps because he's E. It's going to take him like 26, 24 seconds around that. So you can easily take another wave if you want. You should push that in always because you get more gold for the base. Having more gold on the base means you can get a Tiamat. And once you have Tiamat, as we talked about earlier, you can just one-shot him. I have my Ignite up. I have my Tiamat. I can literally just one-shot him at this point. And I want to show you guys that. So I'm just going to speed up because that's going to happen once in this game. So I'm just going to speed up till that happens, right? Basically, you dismount him slowly. You're letting him push again because you don't need to push here too hard. You just dismount him, fight him all the time. And then once he dismounts like this, look, I, I took a really bad trade here getting him dismounted. But I know that Nocturne is not on top right now. I know that I don't have to care about anything. And I know I can one-shot him with my Flash Ignite. So I don't care about taking a terrible trade just to get him to dismount it. Because at this point, I'm like, you know what? I took a shit trade to bait you in and you're dead now. Like, I'm like two and a half. He's six, seven hundred ish. I can just flash ulti stun him. Or flash stun ulti, sorry. And then he's dead. Look at this. I'll show you guys. It's going to happen soon. Because I just don't care about him, right? He walks up. He can't one shot me. Flash W, ultimate, hit Q, E. I should E here. I just, I just auto take. No, I didn't have E. I don't know. Anyways, he's dead. That's what I want to show. If he doesn't have Ninja Tabish, you can one shot him at this point. There's nothing you can do. Get him off the mount. One shot him, flash ignite, and bam. That's how you snowball this matchup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Tell me what matchups you want us to also talk about in the beginning of the video because I actually read all the YouTube comments. I answer to a lot of them and I choose my matchups based on that most of the time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.